Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys, or actually I'm going to be getting ready with you guys. And I'm going to take you guys to Bath and Body Works, the Victoria's Secret. I totally forgot to film an intro, so that's kind of why I look like this right now. So, don't mind me. But if you guys want to hang out with me, get ready with me, then just continue to watch. Come on! I don't know about you but shower time is relaxation time so I'm gonna go ahead and light this candle from Bath and Body Works this is our winter candy apple I love this scent and the packaging is so adorable so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some music I'm gonna be using my title app I love title app it is so amazing let me know down in the comment box below what you guys use to stream your music I'm just going to go ahead and dampen my hair so we can go ahead and apply some shampoo. I usually like to use the matcha green tea and wild apple blossom shampoo, but I'm out of it right now. So I'm going to use a Tahiti Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Shampoo by I'm Not Your Mother's. This shampoo is so nice, especially when I'm wearing my hair curly. It's curl defining. It has no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones. So it's definitely what I look for when I'm using hair, um, like hair products. I don't, I do not like to use stuff that has um, silicones, parabens, sulfates. All that stuff is going to mess with your hair. I'm gonna follow up with the matcha green tea and wild cherry blossom conditioner also by not your mother's i love this it smells so freaking good and again no sulfates no silicones no parabens none of that icky stuff that's going to be applied to your hair especially if you're natural like me i don't uh color my hair i don't do any of that to my hair and it's a great detangler as well Now, after I condition, I'm going to follow up with the Garnier Fruit Teas Damage Repair Treat Mask. This is a one-minute hair mask, but you can also use this as a leave-in conditioner. Again, this product has no parabens, no sulfates, no silicones. Totally what I look for when I look for hair products, and it just makes my hair feel nice and hydrated. I definitely leave this in. You can uh, rinse it out, but it isn't necessary. You can definitely leave it in. As long as I'm not straightening my hair, I tend to leave it in just because it adds nice moisture and it just helps detangle very, very well. Now let me know if you guys are like this. I like to work from the top of my head to my feet. This is so weird. But I started with my hair. Now I'm going to go in with a Fenty Skin Total Cleansing Facial Wash. This is really good. It smells so, so, so good. If you guys haven't checked out my review, definitely check it out. I'll leave it right here for you guys. But I love this stuff. It leaves my skin feeling nice and moisturized, but very, very, very clean. The products are a little bit on the pricier side, but honestly, they have lasted me for so long, so I definitely feel like they are worth it. So I'm done with my hair and my face. I'm going into the body. I start off with a Dove Bar Soap. I love to start off with Bar Soap first just because it gives me that extra clean feeling that I need. I'm not saying that the body washes don't provide you any cleanliness, but I really feel like I'm clean when I wash myself first with a bar soap and then follow off with like a fragrance gel or a moisturizing, moisturizing body wash or whatnot. But I like to use hand mittens like shower gloves. They are something that I've used since I was a little girl and just something that I really, really, really love. It exfoliates you. So it's nice if you don't like to use like exfoliant um, with this, but it's sensitive enough or gentle enough on your skin that you could follow up with an exfoliant if you did want to. So with the bar soap, I usually use these mittens and then I'll follow up with a gel using a face towel. Speaking of exfoliant, I'm going to go in with the Hemp's Pure Herbal Extract Sandalwood and Apple Herbal Body Scrub. I love this stuff. It's so, 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 so good and it leaves my skin feeling so moisturized once I'm done. The scrubs in here or the little granules in here are not very thick like they're pretty fine It doesn't lather, but it does leave my skin feeling really really nice like I got all that dead skin off I was having a hard time deciding between the hello beautiful and the winter candy apple Let me know down in the comment box below which one you guys like best I went ahead and used the winter candy apple just because I haven't used it and I just wanted to try it out and I think I'm gonna follow up with a fragrance that's similar to this 
um, after I get out of the shower, but I love it. It's so, 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 so good. It smells amazing. Let me know if you guys like the moisturizing body washes or the gels better. So I'm going to go ahead and follow up with the shave gel. Um, this is from Equate. I really like the packaging on this one and it smells amazing. It's for dry skin. I don't necessarily have dry skin, but definitely in the winter months, my skin gets a little bit drier. So I like to use this product. It is so, so, so moisturizing and hydrating. And I think that's super important when you're shaving because your skin can get very dry and sensitive in those areas where you're frequently shaving. So it's super important. Even though I'm going to be wearing some pants, I went ahead and just shaved my legs as well. And then I'm going to follow up with this pumice stone for my feet, just making sure you're getting all that dead skin off and making sure those feet are not looking crackly and dry, girl. Okay, guys, so before I completely dry up, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize. So I'm going to use my baby oil. This is the aloe one. I took the top the thing off because I like it to just be clear. So I'm just going to... Now for my face, I'm going to be using the Fenty Toner and the Fenty Moisturizer. I know you should use them separately, but girl, I like to use them together. That's just what I like. So I always let that air dry before I go ahead and add any more product or makeup products to my face. I like when it's like nice and wet and like supple, you know what I mean? So it's really, really good. I'm going to use for deodorant the Dove Advanced Care Caring Coconut. This is our 40 hour one. I have this one. But I don't know. I haven't been liking it that much. The aluminum free one. The cucumber. It's okay if you're going to be like. If you're going to do something quick. And then RB around the house. But if you have plans. You don't want to use that one. Especially if you're like me. And you're a heavy sweater. That could be. That could be all bad. Now for lotion. I'm going to be using the country apple. Shea body lotion. You guys know I love lotion. It's so, so freaking good. And then I'm gonna spray the Country Apple spray. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna spray it while I'm still kind of damp, you know? I don't like to get it in my hair because it has alcohol in there and I, if you guys know me, I don't like to put alcohol in my hair. And the scent notes on the Country Apple are Macintosh apples, apple blossom, fresh mugget, a mugget, share, oh, sheer sunset, and orchard woods. I really love this one. And for spray for my hair, I'm going to put in the leave-in conditioner. I already left in that other one, but I just want to add some more just because I'm going to lay it down. And I want it to have extra you know, moisture in it. So I'm going to be using the Not Your Mother's Royal Honey um, Desert Melon Repair and Protect. I love this stuff. It smells so, 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 so good. So I'm just going to do a regular ponytail or a regular bun. I'm going to part it down the middle. I'm going to go ahead and clean my mirror because it's a little bit steamy still. So you guys, I'm going to quickly share with you guys how I just put my hair back in a simple bun. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos where I share in detail with you guys how I'm getting ready and what products I'm using, why I use them and all that stuff. I like details and I like to know why people are doing what they're doing. Sometimes people be like, oh my god, your videos are too long. But let me know if you guys enjoy these videos or you guys prefer if I just, you know, shorten it down. Um, either way, it doesn't really matter to me. I like to let you guys have all the information and know why I do what I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my hair in a little ponytail. I like to put it air length in like air, air level, I guess, air level in the back. And then I go ahead and follow up with my first touch down edge control and just lay my edges down. This is what actually makes my hair look like I did something is when I lay the baby hairs down. Girl. I don't know, I feel like baby hairs really make all the difference. It really makes you look like you did something. Now before we do anything else, I need to get something to eat. I am freaking hungry. You guys are going to hear me talking about how hungry I am through the entire video. And 
I think I should have actually had some food food but I was in a hurry so I went ahead and made myself a protein shake I'm using the Arbonne um, vanilla protein I prefer chocolate it's my favorite from them but vanilla is going to do today I am going to be using almond milk I put some frozen strawberries as well as half of a banana in there and then I'm just going to blend this baby up and then I will meet you in my beauty room so we can do some makeup and then we're going to head to Bath and Body Works and then Victoria's Secret because I want to see what they have there. Maybe the pink store and then we'll go over to Rancho Mirage and hit up the other Bath and Body Works to see what they got going on at that sale. This protein shake is so good. Let me know if you guys want a what I eat in a day video. That'd be fun. But let's head back to my beauty room. All right, so we're back in my beauty room, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little makeup with you guys. I'm probably going to do a voiceover because my son is in school right now, and I can literally hear his teacher talking. You can probably hear me, too. So I'm going to go ahead and sip it. And quick little makeup with you guys. Nice, natural, something quick to run to the store, but, like, still look decent. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right, guys, just so we can get through as quickly as possible, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to be priming with the Lurie Mercy A primer and then for foundation I'm going to be using the Fenty foundation in the shade 345. I love this foundation. It is so so fire. You guys know I love a matte foundation especially during the summer months. This foundation comes through for me because I am a sweater. This never separates. It always just looks flawless and when it dries back down it is so 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 nice. I'm going to be using the Born This Way Multi-Sculpting Concealer in this shade Warm Sand from Too Faced for concealing under my eyes as well as down the bridge of my nose. While this goes ahead and dries up a little bit like I like it, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and then grab my Beauty Blender to blend out that concealer underneath my eyes. To set that concealer, I'm going to be using Beauty Bakery's Flower Setting Powder in the color Casanova Flower. And to contour, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Medium to Tan. I'm going to follow up with the bronzer side from the Cover Effects Monochromatic Bronzer Duo in the color Suntan Bronze for blush. And then for highlight, I'm going to be using the highlighter in the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Coffee Over Cocoa Palette. I love this. It's so amazing. And while the glue on my lashes dry, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And for lips, I'm using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. I'm going to go ahead and top off that lip liner using the ColourPop Lip Gloss in Beechwood. I'm actually not sure which one this is from ColourPop, but I know it has plumping, plumping properties in it. So if you guys just look up Beechwood on ColourPop's website, you'll find it there. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes a couple of you guys are asking me about these lashes in my last video, and they will be coming soon, girl. I'm super excited. Now to complete this look, I'm going to go ahead and blend in those lashes with mine using the Better Than Sex Mascara as well as on the lower lash line. And that completes the look, guys. I'm ready to head out to go to Bath & Body Works and get my shop on. But first, let me take a selfie. Yay. <laughs>
as you guys can see, they have plenty of soaps available. Some of these soaps are not part of their $3 sale, but I was just trying to see if they had any of the new soaps. Doesn't look like they do, but I did find that Secret Wonderland, plenty of of the sensual amber sweater weather midnight they had plenty of lavender in bloom body wash at the top they had the lotion which was nice because they're kind of running low on complete sets like either you're finding the lotion or you're finding the body wash it's either or and please don't mind my hands girl because it's lona out here can't get my nails done and i took my nails off so they look ratchet, <laughs> bougie, nasty. <laughs> so they have like plenty of that Thousand Wishes perfume, which was a good still if you can find it. I don't know why those are there. Somebody should have taken those by now. Those are $9.95, girl. They innocent. Girl, because that thing would have been snatched all the way up in some of y'all stories. I'd be looking at some of y'all stories. They looking real dry out here. So you guys, they have the Aromatherapy Sleep. I really think this bottle is so nice. It's pretty heavy though, which was really surprising. So I was excited to see that they had coconut cream pie in the little mini sprays, the little travel sprays. They also had the strawberry pound cake in the lip scrub. I was so excited to see that the packaging is so adorable. And I'm excited to see what else they come up with from this collection they have glitter in it it's so 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 nice and they have the little mini sprays as well which was really nice i was hoping to see the larger sprays and some more stuff from the collection here at the store but unfortunately they didn't have anything i also found the coconut cream pies in the lip gloss which was really cool to see i wonder if they're going to be having the strawberry pound cake in the lip glosses but i didn't see any you have plenty of Thousand Wishes, Dahlia, you have Merry Cookie in the travel size still left. Um, all of that stuff was still should have been 75% off. I'm not really sure about the, um, I don't think that that Merry Cookie was supposed to be there. So all of that stuff was regular price, but the Merry Cookie was definitely 75% definitely off and probably should have been in the front of the store. They had plenty of the pink um, cashmere. And then they had the cucumber melon, and then I found it in the shower gel, so she's mine. I threw her in the bag, and I was excited to see her. I just wish they would have had the country apple in the shower gel, because girl, I love me some country apple. Then they had the aromatherapy in black chamomile as well, and the hand cream, or the body cream as well as in the moisturizing body wash. I should have picked that up. It is so good. It smells so good. It is supposed to be for calming the mind and body and creates a sense of well-being. So that is super, super nice, especially when you're trying to relax or go to bed. Then they had some male scents. They had Paris. They had Forest, of course. They had fresh water. They had a couple of other ones there, which was really nice for you guys because it was looking like really, really bad out here for y'all. Um... But that was nice to see on the 50% off table. Then they had Vampire Blood. I think somebody might have brought these back because last time I was here, they weren't there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that away until October for the boys. It's going to be super fun. I love how the soap looks like blood. And then they have a bunch of A Thousand Christmas Wishes as well as that Papaya Paradise Cove. <laughs> Things are 
are about to get ugly. <laughs> Y'all, it is so loud in there. A voiceover is definitely a must. Those candles are still $6. They still have 50% off of um, some of their holiday sets, which is really nice, especially if you're going to just take them apart and use them. They are definitely a still. They have some of that stress relief-ish. If you're watching this video, girl, I know you love that stress relief. <laughs> so they got it on sale for 50% off, girl. And then um, they had waffle cone. They had still strawberry pound cake. They had quite a few of those different scents. They had winter candy apple that I was burning this morning. They had that eucalyptus mint. They had the peanut butter, peanut butter brittle or whatever it's called. And yeah, I was trying to look for some of the new candles, but I didn't see anything. I was looking for new, um, some of the new hand washes. They didn't really have them. Again, they had quite a bit of those sets. Again, 50% off, which actually made those boxes, I think, $9. That's really, really good in my opinion. I mean, for a set that it had been nice if the set wasn't so, you know, Christmassy. But again, for, you know, $8 and like 95 cents or $8 and 40 something cents, it's not bad at all. They still have all of these little hand sanitizer sets. They have those little soap, um, like for you to put your soaps in. They have room scents. Um, they had a little, I love that little makeup bag right there. That was so cute. They have some more of those bags that I showed you guys in my part one haul that were now down to 75 or no, that still was 50%. They had the car scents, 50%, a winter candy apple. I grabbed a couple of those and yeah, they had the vanilla bean Noel set. Everything right here on this table was 50% off and they had quite a bit of stuff left. I mean, they had these little ornaments that had hand creams in them that had the Merry Cookie and Hot Cocos and Cream, which were super, super cute. If you guys wanted to stock up on like stocking stuffers for next year, this would be a great opportunity because again, all of this stuff is pretty cheap and I do expect it to go down to 75% off. So we'll see how that goes. They had these little snowflake ornaments as well that ended up coming out to about like a dollar something after the discount, which is really nice. I should have grabbed a couple to put on my tree, but I didn't. Um, they had these little vanilla bean Noel sets. These are super cute too with the hand sanitizers and all of that. Then they had these little candle uh, tis the season with the hand soap set so they still had the santa going down the chimney soap holder they had the cherry merlot set they had so much to offer in the store and on the 75 percent off tail table they still had the sparkling peach they got fresh coconut colada they got the rose champagne they got that country apple that i love at 75 percent like it should have been in the first place thank you jesus thank you lord and that's about it. They got that sunset glow that I'm eyeing, but I'm going to hold back today. They got them $3 wallflowers. And then as you get into the line, you are tempted once again. So they have these little, you know, turny thingies. Um, they got a lot of that candy apple lip gloss down there. They got plenty of travel size hot cocoa and cream the merry cookie they have frosted coconut snowball they've got twisted peppermint and the ornaments at 75 percent off they still have some there left so i went ahead and picked up one of course because why not for 95 finally i remember when i first seen them they were 19.95 and i was like uh no i'm not paying 19.95 for it and then they went down to 50 percent and then now they are at 75 percent i was gonna get this i actually put it in my bag and then i put it back because i told myself well, what do i need that for like 
I just like to buy stuff. It's two dollars seventy five percent off. But still, who cares? I don't need it. I need to stop being like that. I need to stop buying stuff I don't need. So that is seventeen ninety five, which is actually really nice pumpkin. Um, it's nice, especially if you have like a neutral kitchen like I do, like grays and stuff. And they had that tree up there. They had some sprays. They had a lot of stuff in travel still available. You guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm not really good at multitasking with the camera and shopping at the same time. They got that warm vanilla sugar. Oh my god, in the little mini. I love that packaging. They also had that snowflake cashmere. Somebody mentioned or uh, recommended that to me in my comments in my last video that I should try it out and I think I'm going to grab it. I also seen that Winterberry Wonder. Winterberry Wonder was hard to find in the store. So um so that must be a very popular scent for everybody. I didn't really like care for it. I tried it and it was okay. Um, so I'm not really finding anything else. I think I'm just going to go ahead. I do end up spotting this ho ho ho, which is kind of crazy because people must have been bringing this back because I was looking for this candle and now I feel like it's a little too late. I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> so I'm just going to get in line and you know, you guys always have to do a little look around because you'll spot some stuff that you didn't see like this candle holder. I spotted the new little butterfly candle holders I almost bought it but I told myself you don't need it it doesn't go with anything that you got going on you just want to be buying stuff just because and I'm not going to be buying it but these little candle obla candle all blah, 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 blah. those little things were cute <laughs> And um, then I spotted another one and I was like, oh my god, it could be a set. And then I was like, no, put it back. So I went ahead and I left it behind. And then I finally got in line and paid for my items. And we're going to head to Victoria's Secret after we're done paying for these goodies. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and I picked up some goodies. I'm about to go into Victoria's Secret. See what they got going on in there. So there's an annual sale. If so I can find anything that I like, if I do, that'll be great. Pink is open too. I kind of like this pink. Play secret right here, and then pink is the fast. So probably just going to the toy secret first, and then see what we find in there. And then yeah, go from there. Let me know if you guys uh, experienced that at your Victoria's Secret or Pink. They stop you now at the door and they ask you how they can help you, um, which is really nice. I actually think it's just so they can monitor how many people are coming into the store without being awkward. But it is Club Victoria's Secret up in here, so I am going to do a voiceover. Now, as soon as you walk into Victoria's Secret, they had oh so party. Oh my god, they had it for $20, you guys. I don't know why I did not pick it up. Um, I kind of feel like it was just because I was starving and the line was a little bit long once I was going to be ready to check out. And I think this would just be a cool video if I go back. Maybe I'll take you guys with me, pick up some scents. I just want to see if they get anything new because if you guys watch in just a moment after I pick up this top to the bombshell wildflower and put it back on, um, you guys will see that they aren't necessarily like stocked with the scents that they have on sale as far as the ones that are in like the little main lobby area but they do have quite a bit on sale going on right now it'd be nice to go ahead and you know pick up some bras and some other things for you guys when I go back in there but as for right now I was just looking for some fragrances and I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt I didn't pick that one up that wildflower is really, really, really pretty as well. They had so much going on. They had a sale for 5 dollars 
and they had all these scents here uh San Tropez, coconut granita they also had the bali coconut palm citrus chill melon sorbet and tropical spritz so i definitely want to go ahead and pick up some stuff definitely that San Tropez was smelled so 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 good but again, I stopped smelling everything because I told myself, I'm about to get a headache on this empty stomach. The girl was focused on food. And then I found the lotion. Oh my God, the lotion is $9.99. Definitely going to come back and pick up some stuff. All these lotions in this bin should be about $9.99, which is really good considering, you know, their original price. And I think they do hold quite a bit of product. They have these lip glosses on sale as well, the Pear Nectar, uh, Wild Drench, just all those little flavors in there or scents, if you will. So they had a lot going on in their sale. They had the regular Bombshell, which smells bomb. <laughs> and then they had the Love is Heavenly. They had that other Bombshell. They had the Heartbreaker or tr is it called True Heartbreaker or Heartbreaker? I can't remember. Um, but I know that's the Heartbreaker one. And then I'm I'm a little bit of a weirdo. I like to organize this stuff when it's like out of place. If it's close by. Because it bothers my soul. And as you can see, I'm holding on super tight to that Oso Party. I have no idea why I did not pick it up. But your girl is going back for it. And I couldn't stop thinking about it. I want it so bad. And... I'm about to make it mine, so stay tuned for that video. So once you get into the main fragrance lobby area, that's what I call it, it's like a little lobby area, um, you're going to find all of these holiday sets that are on sale right now. You're also going to find more $5.99 products. You're going to have uh, Velvet Petals. You're going to find um, Pure Seduction. You're going to find the Bare Vanilla. They also have some more of that coconut granita. They have some uh, love spell. They had quite a bit of options. If I'm being honest with you, I should have picked up this green pear and citrus because I really, really love it. If you guys haven't tried green pear and citrus, it is so, so, so good and refreshing. It's one of my favorites from Victoria's Secret. And I actually should have just went ahead and picked up that in the lotion and that San Tropez because oh my god girl it smelled so 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 good they also had some of the bombshell um collection that was on sale as well as these 50 percent off handbags now girl they are doing it with the handbags like these are freaking cute and then they came through with the giant hand sanitizers the coconut jasmine they also had just five ninety nine um other scents hand sanitizers which is really 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 nice because these are really really big they're definitely trying to give bath and Bar body works a run for their money when it comes to the hand sanitizers because girl you cannot compete where you cannot compare okay and those are really really big hand sanitizers they had some more of their velvet petals, more Christmas scents, and then I came across this bag. Girl, this bag is so, 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 so cute. I'm definitely going to have to make a trip back. Some of their loungewear was on sale, as well as their bras and stuff. But girl, I need to go eat. I am starving, and I cannot focus on an empty stomach. Okay. Oh, empty stomach. I don't know what So as soon as you guys walk in, you guys can see that they're having a sale for $5.99 on their fragrances as well as $4.99 on some of their panties, girl. I should have went in there and got some stuff, but again, I can't focus. I just wanted to stop by because I was already here to see what kind of goodies they have. They have the oat lotion and the scrub, which I definitely am going to have to pick up because I really like this oat scrub. I'm running out of my hemp scrub, which I really, really like. 
and I think I'm just going to go ahead and get a new scrub in this one. I have a couple of other scrubs from Bath & Body Works, like the Gingham. I have um, You Are The One, but again, I like something that's lighter in fragrance that I can mix with other scents um, that is not going to overpower the other scents, so that would be nice. They have Sweet Orchard. I've seen it on the website as well. They have some other selections on the website that they didn't have in the store. Um, like their peach, they had berry pop here. They had um, Mary Pink Miss, Pink Snow. Um, they had all kinds of different fragrances on their five ninety nine rack, like the pink coconut, which actually smells really, 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 really good. Pink coconut is so good, especially if you like the coconut smell. It's not too much, but it's really refreshing and a little bit sweet. So all of these products over here weren't on sale, but you can get two items for 10 and then they had some more hand sanitizers as well as the pink lotion. I love the pink sign. It's so cute, but I'm just going to grab these items and go ahead and check out and we'll head to the next spot, Bath and Body Works. Hey. Hey. Oh, you can run on my glasses too. I'm like, I should stay away from it, but I can't help it. Right? Yeah. Okay. I used to have those things. I used to have those things here. Oh, really? And like, they're kind of all the time. Yeah, the forest one on sale, Paris. A couple of them went on sale. Ooh. You should go over there. Thank yeah. you. Have a good one. Hey guys, so I got my freaking goodies and we're about to get out of here because the girls are hungry. So, I'm sorry, I think it's like a little foggy. Thank you, have a good one. So as I head out, I seen this mirror and you know I had to get in it. <laughs> I had to go ahead and show you guys what I was wearing for today. I'm super casual, just wearing a cute little Malibu racetrack shirt. And these Come See About Me jeans from Sasha Monique Boutique were actually running a 50% off sale on everything on the entire website. So if you guys have some time, go ahead and definitely check it out. I'll leave the website right here as well as the link down in the description box below. Again, everything is 50% off at checkout. So go ahead and check them out. And I'm just wearing my Nike Space Hippies. Yes. This is the one that I usually frequent. You guys may not have been able to hear me in that store, in the last store I took you guys into because it was super loud. I have a two masks on and I already talk very low, so. Okay, so we are at capacity. I'll go ahead and have okay. to wait at the blue X Okay, thank you. that I see that gingham oil they had um the foaming lotion before and I almost wanted it that's what was in that little empty spot last time I came here it looks like somebody already snagged it up 
If you guys are still watching this video, make sure you guys comment below the little shopping bag emojis. But over here at this Bath and Body Works in Rancho Mirage, California, they actually had still quite a bit of holiday scents left. As you can see, they are fully stocked up on that winter candy apple, the twisted peppermint. Um, I was looking for that little black party dress in this uh, mist, but they didn't have it available, which is the reason why... I am side-eyeing the lady. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not side-eyeing nobody. Um, I was just thinking, like, why do they have it up there if it's not available for purchase? It just kind of doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, unless they have it up there for you to try it and then you can purchase it online. But I don't even think um, Black Little Party Dress is available in the mist online. If so, leave that information down in the comment box below because I checked it out. I didn't see it. And I want it. So they still got that True Boost Spa over here for 50% off, holding on strong. And then they had that Secret Wonderland 50% off. I thought they were going to drop that to 75% off. I think they should have dropped it to 75% off by now. They had some of the candles available here. I didn't pick up any candles because you know your girl already has too many candles. I don't need anything else. Um, just checking out to see if they had any new wallflowers or anything, but they didn't. They got that $4.99 Forest. They need to drop down some of those other scents. They got that Paris, that Fresh Water. So, guys, it's looking better for you guys because it was looking real dry out there for you guys. They got that Sleep Aromatherapy, which is looking real tempting right now. They got these holiday boxes, too. Now, it says time to celebrate and then it says best wishes when now the star one looks good in there but best wishes in my opinion I thought I would see a thousand wishes in there because best wishes a thousand wishes you get it I don't know it didn't make any sense to me why they had cactus blossom in there but they did and then they had a bunch of the three dollar hand soaps and these cute little polar bears they had them on sale for 50 percent off if, girl, if it was still December, I probably would have snagged these, but I have nowhere to put these until, you know, the next year, and it doesn't really go along with what I have going on in my restroom, so I'm going to go ahead and leave her right there. And I was just checking out to see if they had any more of the car scents, and I found them. They had Tree Farm, Snickerdoodle, Winter Candy Apple, Sweater Weather and Peppermint. They also had some of the room scents. I actually picked up Flannel because Flannel is one of my favorites. Alright guys, so that's it for these stores. My next video is going to be a haul of everything that I picked up. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys check out that. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I love y'all. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody who might find it useful. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all. Love ya.